Oh yes, it's that time for all of my jam stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Zayz, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Now this is just Patch Day, Patch Day Monday. Normally it's Patch Day Tuesday. Um, I think that we've got all our issues sorted out, and, and we're ready to do some real, real, real information, some news for you guys. And uh, we're just gonna get right into it. As you can see, my boy Mike Wong has tweeted out some things. We're gonna go to what he tweeted out. Sin tweeted out the patch notes. Um, I normally have them first. I was in the field today, I couldn't do it. But let's just get right into what Mike is talking about, just right off the bat. Some patch gameplay changes to be aware of. Successful coach challenges won't use a timeout. That had been happening, but nobody been using coaching challenges except for me. And you learn how to do it here first, so hey, it is what it is. Uh, adjust pro stick window for pro hop step gathers so that left and right performs the normal dumps. I'm gonna show you what that means. My personal favorite, fixed baseline dunks that were not triggering properly, yes! We got that back. Yo, that's all I really wanted the whole time, man. I've been complaining about that. I've been like, I couldn't get the baseline reverse off one, but I could get off two. But the problem was I couldn't trigger them. It just would not work for me. And so now I'm, I'm gonna be able to do that. We're gonna talk about that. Hey, fewer full, fewer, fewer full whites. We'll, we'll talk about what that means in a minute. Um, buff pick dodges to, to match brick wall. That's something that we asked for last week was like, just stop, stop touching the gameplay. Just buff, this is, this is, this is proof that they watch my videos, bro. Just buff pick dodger so that it matches brick wall. That way, if you did not opt in to get defensive badges to allow you to dodge picks, you should be getting KO'd by screens. That's just how I feel about it. You had an op opportunity to do it, but it is what it is. Uh, fix the Steve Nash signature uh, dribble style yo-yo bug. Hey, we didn't know about that. And widen the speed gap, uh, especially, to re especially to reduce the speeds of low-rated players. Now, I've been hearing some stuff about this, and, and, and they didn't understand what Mike was saying. Like, if, you are, if you're at the top end of it, you're not going to notice the speed difference. But if you're at the bottom end, think of it like this rubber band right here. This side of the rubber band, I don't even know if y'all can see it, but this side of the rubber band is the top end of the speed. This side of the rubber band is the low end. The top end isn't gonna go anywhere, but as I stretch it out and we widen that speed gap, the low end went away from the top end and so did part of the middle. But the people closest to the top end, they won't notice a difference. People in the middle will notice a little difference. The biggest difference will be noticed by the people down here at the end of it. That's the best way that I can explain it because that's pretty much how Mike explained it. If you have, if you're at the top end of the speed spectrum, obviously you are used to define what max speed is. Everybody else, you're really on your own. So a player like me who had an 85 speed, but I'm almost at a 90 now once I get to 99 or what have you, I won't, I'll, I'll notice a little bit of a speed difference. He said 60, 70, and then 50 below. Those are the people that will notice the biggest speed difference. It is what it is. I, I don't know, I liked, I, oh, let me see what, let me see what Swante said. A pick dodger should be a two, should be two times more effective than brick wall. Uh, then you'll really, then you'll really make a skill gap. I agree. Two pick dodgers should be more effective than, than brick wall. Is this, is this only for bigs overalls? Uh, difference in 99 speed. Okay, he asked that. Swante asked that, so we're good on that. Let's go back to some other things that Mike Wong said. And uh, this, these are the latest things that he talked about. Uh, fix an issue causing some some play now online. My team, uh, uh, we don't care about that. Uh, let me see. Well, games to disconnect prior to completion. Yeah, that's people just quitting probably. Now you got fixed issues where my team were, co where my team were collector level progression where collect where collector level progress progress was shown to be reset okay that's cool and then our uh, many other bugs and fixes we're gonna click on this right here was this was this what we had uh ball what is this ball shagger dudes would be in my team freestyle practice uh oh uh, 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 will be in my team freestyle practice uh, with the patch as well. Okay, so you got ball shagger, dude. So now, now you got to do is shoot the balls and people will go get them for you. That's cool. And to clarify, this is the main thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about. To, to clarify, the fix to the fix for full whites uh, shooting percentages were untouched. Shooting will be the same as it was pre-patch. 
it just fixes inconsistencies between what the shot meter shows and the actual outcome. So it's not saying that full. So it's just like what Swante was saying. Swante is on top of this stuff, and a lot of people don't understand it. More full whites aren't going in. It's just like what I was showing you here. What used to be a full white, it may be further away from here than what it was. So think of it as like this. They're pretty much elongating the um they're pretty much elongating the shot meter so you can see that you weren't as close as you thought you were. And I can show you that I mean shooting was really untouched and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna show you one thing here, and then uh we're gonna get up out of here, man. Check it out. Camera nine. Hey, I, I fixed all my mic issues. All that stuff is good. I figured out what the problem was. I had an issue where I have a water cooler, and I'm just doing this to fix time. I have a water cooler um, on my computer, but it's an external water cooler, and it was leaning on my desk, and my desk was vibrating, and my mic was picking that up. So what it was trying to do, it was trying to cancel out, because my mic, is it cancels out all, all noise, ambient noise. It was trying to cancel out that ambient noise, but that ambient noise was in my direction. So that was killing me. Y'all can see I'm like all the other streamers now. You can see my mic in the stream. Ain't I so cool? Anyway, shooting was untouched. Look at me take that shot from Limitless Range. Don't really care about any of that stuff. We know it's going in. I've actually got a new badge combination that I want y'all to, uh, to know about. If y'all want the new badge combination, give me 200 likes on the video. And uh, I, bro, I'm doing so much stuff to improve your shots is unreal. I'm trying to work with NBA 2K Lab to see if we can get some get some things shown and all of that good stuff, but hey, we'll see what happens. But the biggest thing is this. I can now baseline reverse, baby. Bro, don't you understand how much of that, how much of my game that really was taken away when I couldn't do a baseline reverse? It was killing me. It was literally killing me because I come here and then I have to do the baseline reverse layup but the layups are so inconsistent because you don't know. I don't have a shot meter, and I don't know which animation is going to trigger. So now, when I baseline reverse off two, I'm good. That was awesome. Now, with the, uh, with the right stick, you can still do the right stick gathers and stuff like that. But uh, let me show you what you got to do in order to, in order to do those. So if you want to do the hop step gather, you got to go to the hole and then... Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you got to hold it then because... What it what it should be is maybe they killed it. Maybe they just completely killed a hop step. Unless it's just hold it. No, nah, that's just dunking with the right hand. So what I thought it was is that you have to come down there, that you had to come down and tap it. But he's doing he's doing a size up. You shouldn't be doing a size up that that low. Uh hey, look, bro. I guess we just gotta tap. You gotta just tap tap uh tap triangle now. Or maybe they reversed it. Nah, he's doing a size up, which this feels like more control. But I mean, I guess I guess it is what it is. But hey, going in, hop, tap it to hop step and do it. I really don't know what else we're gonna have to do in order to. Uh, I don't know if you can even do it with the stick anymore. But yeah, he just he jumps with it and then you can just hold. You tap. You can uh, you can literally just tap square. So I'm, I'm tapping square and then holding square and then he goes up with it. And then maybe if I tap square and come off everything and do it, then he'll do it. I don't know. If y'all know how to do it, yeah, then he'll do it as a layup. If y'all know how to do it the real way, y'all let me know how to, how to do it with the stick now. I never I never did it with the stick, though. So it never bothered me. But if you used to dunk with the stick and now you're having a hard time, let me know. I know Man Man was having a heck of a time with it. And it was just like... You know what I'm saying? He was having a heck of, heck of a time with it. It wouldn't even let him dunk on anybody. And I have a different controller, so I have a pro stick. I got a modded uh, pro stick. Not a modded pro stick, but it's, it, they call it a modded. It's really just an Amazon stick. But I have, I got an Xbox style stick. You can get it off of Amazon.com. It's a great, great stick. I bought the, um, I bought the stuff on it and, it's, and it works wonderfully for me. But anyway, a lot of the stuff with the game, like I said, you're not gonna make more full whites pretty much what they're saying is they just de redefine what a full white shows up as so if it's not supposed to be a full white th they're just saying that those whites aren't as full as you thought they were but from looking at the czar's video you're not supposed to be hitting full whites anyway anything that's not that's not green you're you're literally releasing to the physics engine and and the chips will fall where they may so what he's saying is it was never your right to make full whites 
anyway. But hey, it is what it is. Also, um, like I said, I saw John hit him up. I saw Red City Boy and those guys playing today. Uh, they feel like the shot timing. Man, I hate that they, they, they make you wait so long before you can shoot the ball, bro. Like when you're dribbling or something, unless you do like a hezzy or something, you can't just shoot the ball. But um, they said that this is something, this, this, these are some things of note. Uh, speed seem to be pretty much the same. You now get, let me see, my, my park, uh, my rep. You now have a percentage there. Um, and you can see what your percentage was. I don't know if that's something new, if that's something that was it. Anyway, I guess right now I got a, I got a bike and some more stuff. Do I got a skateboard yet? Mm. Oh, I did get a skateboard already. So maybe I need to go buy myself a skateboard so I can get around the park more. But I'm really just worried about grinding, man. Uh, bass progression has been fixed. Uh, LD2K said that the bar won't be any shorter. But, like, let's say if one of these bars used to be... 2,800 points, now it's gonna be 1,500 points or something like that, so the bar won't be any shorter. So if you're looking for it to be a difference, you won't see a visual difference, but you will notice that it's gonna take you less time to grind out. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all today, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will have a full on analysis of everything in the morning after I play the patch and uh, and I see what's going on and you know, all that good stuff, man. I'm, I'm, I'm This jump shot that I got, man, I'm telling you, I just concocted a new one. I'm going to test it out in competition. I'll let you guys know. But, look, I can hit whites. Now we're going to try to shoot a full-on green. Let's, let's try to actually shoot a green. I can hit whites with it. Now we're going to shoot a full. It says slightly late, so there we go, green. And it's green. It's green certified, my guy. Look at, look at where I'm shooting from. I've also got a new badge combination that will help you guys hit shots a lot more. And, um, you know, stuff on how to get your hot zones faster, all this stuff, man. But, bro, this new shot, this new shot is water, man. Um, the one I put up today is good, but I just reconcocted one today. And uh, I'm about to test it out in the park, and we're going to see how it is. But, uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe for more 2K content. Go test out the new jump shot that I put up uh, today. And uh, if that one gets to a certain number of likes, We'll go ahead and release this one as soon as possible, man. Um, and then, like I said, man, this shirt will be on the site today. So, you know, do your thing. Check that out. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug. One more time. One more time. Boy, they done brought my baseline reverse back. Woo, it about to be the smoke in the city.